Hello and welcome back to another Sims and Bloom episode. You may have been wondering why there have been no episodes of this for a little while and that is because I have tried to record this three times. This is the third time. On the first go, every time that I was loading into my save, it was just so laggy. I couldn't do anything, like everything was so laggy. I troubleshooted for hours and hours and hours and managed to figure it out. And the second time I recorded this, I recorded for nearly two hours, had a great time, lots of fun things happened. I was so excited to show you lot and then the files were corrupt. So I ended the recording, I looked to check the files and they weren't there, they were corrupted. So third time's the charm, let's hope this actually goes through. Let's crack on with a little bit of gameplay. A big unit test is coming up in history class. Primrose has been doing okay but a good score would really boost her overall grade. Should she do her usual amount of studying or study as much as she can? I'd say study as much as she can. I can't see what that says. India has about 30 minutes free time. At lunch, how should he spend it? Go to the gym or read blogs for career advice? Do that. So Primrose focuses hard and reviews all of the material and it pays off big time. She scores higher on the test than anybody else in the class and the teacher congratulates her on a job well done she got a performance gain and Indy got a performance gain at work because he got, found some good career advice and interesting articles but he didn't enjoy some free time and I believe that today is the girls high school exams so we'll find out how they've been doing at school once they get back oh no Sierra Braswell has died I'm assuming this is one of Tara's long lost relatives oh it's her other half sister so all of her half siblings have now died. She's still got 26 days until she becomes an elder, so they must have all been before her. Everybody died in her family throughout her entire life, but Tara has now gone to work, and let's hope she gets a promotion, because I feel like she's due one. Tara is catering a huge party for a prominent client. Everything's going swimmingly until she realises the centrepieces have not arrived. Let's make some improvised ones. Oh, she got 100 quid. Who knew a little bubblegum fish and lining cotton boys would be such a hit with the guests? Performance gain as well. Okay, so the girls have come home from school and there's lots going on. So I downloaded a mod called A Deep Indigo Dynamic Teen Life, I think it is, and Thorn is popular at school. Other Sims will know this about her and it may or may not affect how others view her, respond to invitations, conversations or requests. They got reports cards as well, so Prim's report card is available. She continues to do solid, average work with similar output and the teacher's comments aren't over the top but fairly positive. Thorn got the same. And the both of them aced the exam. They aced the test and they're on their way to becoming valedictorians. Both Prim and Thorn aced it. Now I wonder with this mod, can we see it in their like settings, in their symbology? We can. Okay, so Primrose isn't popular but isn't unpopular. The majority of Sims go through high school somewhere in the middle neutral and Prim joins their ranks. She's also part of a rebel rousers social group. They don't really care. They get together or don't get together and do what they want. Who cares? She's feeling rebellious at the minute so that kind of makes sense. And then Thorn is now popular. Other Sims will notice about her and it may affect how they treat her. And she's part of Artist Collective, a social group made up of artistically minded Sims who enjoy, above all else, the creative process and dramatic outlets. Okay, awesome. Prim's feeling super confident and happy from being a top scorer on the exam. And Thorne's got a little bit of anxiety, but they've invited their friend over, Emily Goodrich. Okay, she's got a very cute sense of style, but they met her at school today. And obviously, like I said to you lot, I've tried to play this multiple times. I gave the girls CC makeovers based on the popular groups that they were in. So luckily they are both in the same groups that they were in when I played through it before and had the same popularity. So before I introduce you to their new friend Emily, let me just show you their updated CC appearances in Cass. Okay, so this is Primrose. She's now popular. So I've given her a, well, I say a popular hairstyle, but I've updated her hairstyle and given her a change of clothes. I thought that since they are now teenagers and they were preteens for quite some time that they would now be experimenting with makeup and whatnot. So I also wanted to give Thorn some piercings as I felt like she would like to explore that. Her dad has piercings as well and I feel like they would let her, you know, let her try out piercings and do whatever she wants to do. So this is her everyday outfit. This is her formal outfit. This is her athletic, her sleepwear and then this is her party wear, hot weather wear and 
cold weather wear. So that is Little Thorn's updated appearance. And as I've just loaded into Cass, it's been a bit laggy again, but I just got this little pop-up here saying, wow, what a sim. Thorn just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Emily Goodrich. That woman has so many of the qualities that make Thorn's heart race as if it were on a cross-country marathon. Their beautiful features meet Thorn's desires so readily that it's almost as if whatever's created such a sim sculpted her specifically for Thorn. So she is super duper attracted to Emily. This is the friend that they've made at school today. So we'll have a look into that in a minute. But I just wanted to show you, I had to go back out of Cass and back into Primrose because it was been a bit slow for some reason. But this is Primrose's updated appearance. So she's obviously not in any popular group. She's kind of neither here nor there in terms of popularity at school. And she's into her fitness at the minute, but I thought we'd give her an updated appearance as well. So she is trying out makeup, but she's not going as heavy as Thorn is. So this is her everyday look. Look. This is her formal look. Her athletic wear, I actually kept the same because I quite like that outfit. This is her sleepwear. This is her party wear. And then hot weather and her cold weather wear. Both of them do have berries on that cold weather look. And so yeah, Thorn perceives Emily as extremely attractive. Out of curiosity, what does she find Daniela? Okay, so she does perceive Daniela as attractive, but this is really interesting. I am gonna get both the girls to add her on Social Bunny. I think she must be like new to the school or something. So they can add her on Social Bunny, send her a couple of messages and let her know this is my account. Maybe like some of her pictures. Good it is a Friday, good so good it is the weekend good. tomorrow, which is good. They both did really, really well on their tests, on their exams. So a weekend ready for celebrations. Now I wanna know a little bit more about Emily. So maybe we can do the get to know interaction so we can find out maybe her traits. But Thorn is like in a really flirty mood. She's really attracted to her. Okay, she is loyal. That's what you want in a friend. She's feeling flirty as well. I wonder what she's kind of thinking about Thorn. Oh, look. Oh gosh. Wowee. That sim is irre irresistible. Thorn has a major crush on Emily. Oh, okay. Thorn sentiments. Thorn is crushing hard on Emily. Damn. Damn. Okay. I mean, her like sense of style is gorgeous. I love her outfit. And I think maybe, you know, Thorne is trying out this new style at school because maybe she's been inspired by Emily as well. Emily, who's very obsessed with our computer. The rumors are true. <gasps> Emily wants to go to the prom with Thorne? Of course we'll blooming go to the prom. <laughs> Okay, so she's at prom. When is prom? This is the real question. When and where is prom? Indy has been promoted to construction technician. He received 475 simoleons, atomized mist, and succulent earrings. Oh, and Tara has been promoted to sous chef. She received 1.3k, an ice box of steel, and learned to write the cookbook on the computer. Ooh, okay, what is anonymized mist? I'm assuming that is gonna be in our household inventory. Oh, we've got 20 bags all to sell. May as well sell that. And this is the... Oh, okay. Let's get rid of this old fridge. I know it's worth more, but we'll replace it with the one that Tara earned from her job. And I don't know where Indy's atomized mist is, but that's fine. He's feeling confident from climbing the ladder. He leveled up and fired up and he got a milestone. There we go. His promotion. Good for you. Well done, Indy. Okay, so Prim's being quite good and doing her homework. No, we're not going to the Spice Festival. Oh, wait a minute. Don't I always have to say yes to go into those events or is that when they become an adult i may have made a boo-boo or no okay my internet literally is not working and i cannot open the sims and bloom rules but i think it's when they're a young adult hey a bunch of us were going to check out that new action movie it came out last weekend we were going to sneak in and watch it tonight Ooh, can we bring friends let's do it dawn has accepted the invite but now needs to find a way there she could ask for permission or try to leave and hope that no one catches her Ooh, it is 6 p.m do we ask our mum or do we just sneak out? Ask for permission to go out with friends. Thorn is rebellious at the minute. Like she's going through a phase of rebellion. So I'm kind of tempted to just get her to sneak out. Let's just sneak out to the movies with friends. Let's go do it. It's a shame that we can't bring friends though. Is she just going? Do we get to go with her? Is it like a rabbit hole thing? We don't get to go with her? Oh, she's gone. Okay, Prim's been great. And on her Friday night, she's doing our homework.
homework ready for school next week. Now, obviously the girls no longer are preteens. Um, I forgot to say that at the beginning of this episode, I aged them up as they had been preteens for a while. I thought that I'd set preteen to only be a couple of days in my game, but it seemed to have reset itself. So the girls, I'm not gonna mess around with their ages just in case I do something wrong, but the girls are gonna be teenagers for another eight days, but it's fine. We're gonna use this opportunity to do exams, to level them up in school, to maybe go to prom. We got asked to prom, but I don't know when that is. And to explore a couple of different things with them as teenagers. So yeah, as I forgot to say, they are now preteens. We have some leftover pasta here that Tara made a while ago. So Prim can go and grab some of that. I swear Tara was literally at work earlier on today and she's got it again. Is that two shifts in one day or am I imagining that? 8 p.m. until 2 a.m. Oh, for this part of her promotion, she yeah, she got a promotion today. Oh my Lord. Okay, she needs to reach level six of the gourmet cooking skill and prepare food. Okay, we're not getting another promotion today. She's now up to level eight in her career, which is amazing. Oh my God, Selena has arrived crying. Wait a minute, aren't you meant to be at the movies? With Thorn and loads of other friends? I swear she's the one that invited Thorn and like a load of their friendship group to the movies, no? Hopefully everything's okay. And Thorn's still there. She snuck out to the movies with friends. Hopefully she's okay. Okay, Trevor has shown up here. I got these great concert tickets to go see that band at the arena just outside of town. Let's go together. So that is Jet asking her to go to that. Okay. Primrose oh. is gonna ask her parents. Oh, Tara's off to work, so she can't ask her. So let's go ahead. Somebody just aged up. I swear I just heard that. Let's go and ask for permission to go out with friends. Wait, but Trev is here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think she's gonna wanna leave and go out with the brother that rejected her because I swear she's still hurt, right? No, Jet was her first crush. And then if you remember, we were at that restaurant and he basically said that he's into men and like he's not attracted to her kind of thing. But she is a bit flirty with um, Trevor, who was obviously into Thorn, but Thorn was more into Daniela. And now Thorn is into Emily, who is leaving now. <laughs> it's all happening. And Thorn is now, well, she's not on a date. She's out with friends, to be fair, with a bunch of the people. But I feel like she's going to get back at a reasonable time. So she's not going to get in trouble, surely. Okay, Thorn has come back. And she doesn't like really have any emotions about going to the cinema to be honest with you. I wonder if that's because maybe she kind of just wanted to spend the evening with Emily as she was here at the house but then went out to, to the movie theatres. Oh well we will go ahead and see Emily tomorrow. Burn out? Indy is burned out. Burnout negatively impacts work performance, promotions, energy, fun and skill gain. It'll recover over time but taking breaks and relaxing will help speed up the recovery. Oh no. That means he can't get any promotions in his job as well. Okay he's this is very relaxing but it's not relaxing for our ears. Why don't you go and relax by going to bed? Well done, Indy. Good for you. Oh dear, that's well bad that he's experiencing burnout though. Oh my God, I've just brought Thorn up to go to bed and I forgot that. I forgot I locked this girl in this room. Let me unlock her. Oh no. This was the sleepover like a few days ago where she just, she wouldn't, she didn't bring a sleepover sleeping bag. So she wouldn't sleep with the others. And so I locked her in here so that she would actually go to sleep on the bed, which she did. And then I forgot to unlock it. So you are now free to go. The door is unlocked. Okay, I think she's going now. Oh, that was my bad. Whoops. Well, nobody found out about Thorn sneaking out to the cinema because Indy, I believe, was like working out upstairs and Tara has only just got back from work. So nobody, nobody knew. Nobody found out about it. And then obviously Primrose was gonna go out. She got invited to go somewhere as well, I think. With Jet, it was. But then she said, yeah, but then she kind of chickened out at the last minute. I think she got a bit nervous about leaving and also Trevor was there too um, and she'd done her homework and she was working on that so she didn't fancy really going out and being rebellious today, bless her. It is the flower festival and it's not looking very flowery festival-y at all to be quite honest with you here in Evergreen Harbour. Prim has woken up feeling super tense so she's gonna go on her punching bag and blow off a little bit of steam. Let's get Tara up and I think she can go and make a nice Saturday morning breakfast. I say this as there is literally front thunder and lightning. Let's go make some spinach frittata so the girls can have some yummy brekkie. Thorn just became acquaintances with Biscuit. Wasn't that one of the Foster?
to dogs. How has she become acquaintances with Biscuit from the bath? I do not know. This game shocks me, surprises me, does all the fun things. Uh, Prim, interestingly enough, is coming on into the kitchen to hang out with Tara. She's asking a question, I think. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even? Okay, so she's struggling a little bit, getting stressed out. Maybe it's because Thorn went out yesterday. She got a little bit nervous, obviously, to go out, but Thorn went out and kind of got away with it, and perhaps that's what made her angry. Now, Tara is, she's kind of a little bit carefree. So maybe like, you know, how Indy dealt with it years and years ago growing up was to do a workout. He stayed in his room and did workouts. So I feel like Tara's not gonna wanna talk it through with her. So would perhaps tell her to go and do a workout. Then she would obviously head back up and, and maybe go on the punch bag. Okay, Tara reached gourmet cooking level five. Let's go ahead and call to Mill. Ooh, Trevor's messaged Thorn saying, I heard you became friends with Emily. Okay, yeah, Emily is our friend. We kind of fancy her to be honest with you. But it's a Saturday morning. We have the fam alums here eating their breakfast together. It is a horrible, thundery day outside. Prim's just come down from doing her workout as Tara suggested for her to do. It is not a nice day here in Evergreen Harbor and flower festivals are not gonna be going ahead when the weather is like this. Why doesn't Thorn maybe drop Emily a message? Ooh, today your follower count changed by 130. So now Thorn is up to 350 followers on Social Bunny and she's gonna post that she's having a nice family breakfast with Primrose and her mum and dad. And we're just gonna send a message to Emily as well asking if she wants to hang out today. Okay, and obviously Emily did ask us to go to prom. So she didn't specifically say as friends, which is kind of interesting. So that's gonna be fun to explore. So Emily has invited both Thorn and Primrose over to her house and she lives in the gorgeous world of Del Sol Valley and she has got a mansion. Look at this house. This is absolutely beautiful. And oh my Lord, it is a sunny, beautiful day. Like it is perfect to be here. It was chucking it down and thundery at home. So brilliant that Emily's invited us here. It's a nice sunny day as well. So maybe we can go in the swimming pool. So Thorne watched the film last night and now she's feeling emotions about it this morning. Thorne hopes that she would never be in a horror movie, but she's also far more prepared than those dumb teenagers if the situations happen. Oh, so they watched a horror movie last night and she's feeling a bit embarrassed from her crush on Emily. Okay, it's gonna be okay. She's invited you over. You know, she's your friend mainly, but just go hang out. It's a Saturday. It's nice and sunny here. So it will be a nice day to just hang on out. Where exactly? Oh my Lord, look at this place. Where is Emily? So, okay, here we have got Hugo and I'm guessing that is Emily's dad, perhaps? Look at this. Um, where on earth is Emily? That is the question. Not in the swimming pool. Ooh, okay, so she is, oh, this is her mum, Lola Goodrich. So that's Lola. Lola is doing an exercise, watching some TV. And then Emily is down here with her mum. Do we go down to them? Or do you reckon she's gonna come up and greet us? She looks exactly like her mama. These two are just kind of awkwardly waiting up here. Prim's got the football out to, to kick a ball. And Prim is instantly heading down towards Emily. Yeah, she is definitely taking tips from Emily's styling. Met her at school and suddenly she's all dressing like her. And these two have just gossiped. I heard Primrose was an accident and their parents didn't even want them. Wait, that's so mean. Why would they say that about Prim? I can't even remember who was born th first. I think Primrose was born first. That's really harsh, especially since at the moment Prim is um, obviously feeling a bit distant from her family. And she obviously Indy loves and adores them both, but um, Prim has had some difficulties with Tara, um, with their mum. So that's really mean that they would they would say that about little old Prim. Prim, however, is in her element. She's getting fitter, her hard work is paying off and she can see it in her new shape. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Can we do like laps maybe of the pool? Is that something that we can do? Swim energized laps. You go do that, Prim. These two are chatting away in the pool. Look at her in her sunglasses. Oh, now they're splashing each other. Oh, Prim's got, <laughs> got caught there. They're in the way. She's trying to do her nice energy 
energized swimming and you two are getting in the way. Togetherness and she feels close. Making time for another sim can be a source of joy. I don't like that they were they were being nasty um, and gossiping like that. All I can think is that Thorne's getting a little bit embarrassed and nervous and is acting out. She is going for a bit of a rebellious phase at the minute. But it's not an excuse for bullying though. Now they're looking at pictures online. Why don't we do a social bunny post about this pool day? Maybe take a picture of the swimming pool and let's tag Emily and Prim and say how much fun we're having in Emily's swimming pool on such a sunny day. It's raining back in our neighborhood. But down at Emily's house, we're having such a fun time. Oh, look, <laughs> the Easter bunny, the flower bunny's here. At least you're not back at home because there is no way we would be finding any eggs. What with all the rain and thunder. Wouldn't surprise me if the lightning destructed the eggs. So the girlies are having a pillow fight. Her dad has walked in, it's a bit weird. She's, they're in their like swimming costumes. But Thorn has a great reputation. Everyone loves attending social events that she holds. How did the pillow fight go? She won the pillow fight. She's claimed victory in the great pillow battles on the plains of Bedford. Bedford, that's funny. Ooh, looks like Primrose just befriended an optimistic sim. Optimists have a very glass half full view of life. They never fail to see the positive side of things and their perspective can inspire sims around them. Yeah, I'd say that Prim does like optimistic sims. Like always looking on the bright side. That's really cool. Like, you know, even though things may be difficult, like she's still kind of trying to look at the positives. Ooh, hey Primrose, we're having a little get together before prom. Yes, we do want to join. That's nice that Prim got invited. Let's bring Emily and Thorn. And let's also bring some of our other friends as well. Nikki can come. Obviously Jet and Trevor as well. Daniela. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Doesn't it take us to the before prom thing? I'm guessing prom's today, is it? I don't know. But why are we not being taken to go to prom? Do we need to click on her and go? Oh, wait. Wait a minute, they've all invited themselves over here. Surely that's not how it works. I thought you were all inviting us to somebody else's house. But you heard that we're here hanging out with, is it Ellie, is that her name? Emily? Emily, you heard we're at Emily's house and it's sunny and stuff, unlike at home. And you all decided to invite yourselves over for a pre-prom party. Oh, geez. Well, since there's a whole group of you here, you may as well all come hang out as well. We've just been hanging out in the pool. Everybody's getting in now, geez. Hopefully we can get all showered before prom and I feel as though Prim should like do you think that Trevor will ask her to prom or should we ask Trevor because Thorn got asked by Emily so I'm kind of like I want him to ask us to go to prom but should we take the initiative although Prim is like hmm I don't know is Prim gonna do that is she feeling maybe a little bit like apprehensive would she be confident enough to ask him probably not at the moment Emily snuck in here to eat some mac and cheese I mean Fair play, I would. Get away from the crowds and eat all the food. Sounds like a good idea. Ooh, can we like sit on the side? Ooh, they're all splashing each other. Can we sit on the side here as well? Sit here. I wanna sit on the side of the pool. Ooh, Thorne has learned that Emily has the following lifestyle. People person, nice. This is really nice. Everyone's just kind of chilling, hanging out, relaxing. You are stink, Prim. Do we, can we afford a hygiene potion? Instant hygiene? We can. Drink your stinky potion. Ocean. And Dawn's feeling really confident. Daniela's following her. Wait a minute, what's going on there? Why is Daniela following? Where is she going? Ooh, prom is starting. Okay, we're gonna travel to prom with both Prim and Thorn. This is the first ever prom, I think, in my Sims in Bloom. I don't remember Meadow or Maggie going to prom. I don't even think high school years was out when they were in school. I might be wrong, but I think this might be the first prom ever in my Sims in Bloom challenge so far. Okay, here we are, we're at prom. What do we, we need to vote for prom royalty, dance, talk to someone. Okay, awesome. Let's go do that first. Let's vote for prom royalty. I feel as though Thorn, would she vote for Emily or would she, let's vote for Prim. I feel like they're gonna vote for their sisters and whatnot. So Prim would obviously vote for Thorn. And look at how beautiful they are. They're so cute. And then prom jester, I feel like that's gotta be Trevor or Jet. Let's go for Trevor. Ooh, Trevor's coming over to Prim. Interesting, I wonder who he's voting for. It better be Prim. Okay, we wanna go talk to someone. Oh my lord, look at Emily, she looks so posh. She's got her pearls on and everything. Okay, we need to eat something as well. There's like a roast chicken. 
Tartosian roast duck, world famous Tartosian fruit tart. Oh my god, there's loads. Caviche and chips, sausage and peppers. Dawn is, yeah, we knew she was rebellious. Let's go for roast duck. That sounds tasty. They both need to eat something, so we may as well grab that. Okay. Oh, they look so cute. They're doing a little dance together. Oh, the prom award ceremony is starting. Oh, we didn't get that ticked off. Oh, this is the woman that aged up in uh, front of us, isn't it? So we're going to find out who prom royalty is. Who is it going to be? Oh, <gasps> Prim and Trevor. Wait, what? Look at it. Beautiful Primrose and Trevor are prom royalty. Attention everyone, we have the results. I'm happy to announce that Prim won prom royalty and Trevor won prom jester. Ah, that's so cute. She's so beautiful. Absolutely well and truly deserved. A queen. What's interesting though is obviously Prim isn't the popular one in school. It is in fact um, Dawn. So that's amazing that Prim became prom royalty. I love that. Oh look, these two are dancing. Prom jester, prom royalty. Can we take a goodie bag home with Rose? chicken look at this queen oh the crown looks so good on her a decent night we got a silver prom medal nice oh let's keep this party going want to come with for the after party yes let's bring all of our friends as well obviously it was primrose that got invited because she is the prom queen which is so fun i love that she got prom queen and interesting that trevor got prom jester as well i didn't realize he was like that popular but maybe he's quite funny we voted for him as jester because he is quite funny at school. So is it going to be at somebody's house then? Like, do we go back to someone's house for an after party? Oh, oh, wait a minute. We're, so we're down in the little carnival fairground area. The last time we were here, the girls were not able to get on any of the rides. Prim's feeling great. She's well cared for and she was royalty for the night. Someone grab a camera, winning prom royalty, starting to talk about through generations and I'm ready for my royal close up. Okay, Prim, why don't you and the jester, Trevor, go and ride the fairground? Ferris wheel. And Thorne and Emily have been dancing all night. Ooh, Emily found it thrilling getting a pillow to the face. So these two are tweeting and enjoying talking about the pillow fight that they had earlier. Let's get Thorne while she's here, you know, maybe she's doing it now. She's still with her friends, but let's post about prom and say it was amazing. And it was so nice to see her sister being crowned as prom queen. Prom is a dream come true. Elated doesn't even begin to describe my emotions tonight. And I feel like on that note as well, we should get Prim to tweet about about it as she was the prom queen. So those two are gonna go on the Ferris wheel. Let's get Thorn and Emily to have a romantic ride on the carts. I hope that this actually works this time because as I say, the last time they couldn't do it. I think Thorn was like too small or something to get on the ride. So they're all cheering on uh, Prim and Trevor for being the jester. Okay, they look like they're going on that ride. Okay, and then I think Thorn and Emily are gonna go on this. These are like the go-karts, right? And they're going on the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Thorne wanted to make the perfect romantic atmosphere and thought the cuddle carts would be the best way. What she wasn't expecting was just how cheesy the ride would be, which wasn't the vibe she was going for. She looks at Emily and tries to gauge her reaction. She can't tell she's into the corny atmosphere. Does Thorne poke fun at the ride and add some flirty banter? Or does she embrace the cheese and attempt to show Emily a slice of playfulness? Let's joke about the ride. Thorne decides to poke a little fun at the ride, throwing in some flirty bits to try and steer the conversation in a more romantic direction. Emily's all for it and adds a few quips of her own. They banter back and forth and the bride turns out to be a little less cheesy and a little more steamy. Few things are more attractive than a great sense of humour. Nice. Romance has been gained and Thorne earned some comedy skill. Cool. Well, that was good. That that turned out to be better than expected. She's crushing on someone. <laughs> she has a crush on her mind and has dreamy eyes while watching her while on that ride. Ooh, wait a minute. As Thorne just came off of that ride with Emily, Daniela came over and was like, you're so fun to be around and I really enjoy spending time with you. Oh, Oh, look, Prim and Thorne are playing some soccer together. That's quite cute. But I think Daniela, yeah, wants to spend a bit more time with Thorne. And Thorne is obviously really into Emily at the minute. So maybe Daniela's getting a little bit jealous. So saw that they're going on this romance ride together and wants, wants in on it, I guess. Emily and Thorne have gone on the haunted house ride now. But they probably will have to get home soon because Indy and Tara are pretty relaxed parents. But they still be wondering where they are. And it's prom night. They want them to have fun, but also want them to sort be considerate and get home safe and sound. The stars have aligned and Prim has taken her crush on the cuddle carts. Where all good relationships begin. The light 
lighting the music, the employee awkwardly standing in the corner, changing a light bulb. Everything the beginning of a budding romance needs. Does Prim take the first step and attempt to start some romance or take it easy and keep it casual? Now, he didn't ask her to prom. Like, there is a bit of romance between them, but things are still quite casual, so let's be casual. Primrose's nerves got the better of her, and even casual conversation is proven to be extremely difficult. Trevor responds politely and attempts to keep the conversation going, but the employee in the corner eating popcorn, waiting for some drama, kind of kills the mood. When nothing happens, everyone's left with a stale resolution. Not bad, but not as good as she hoped. It could have been worse. It could have been so much worse, but... After a thrilling prom evening and a, and a fun time at the carnival park, let's go ahead and get the girlies to head home. Tara has uh, got home from work as well, so we're going to be later than Tara, which is not a good idea, but... Ooh, Prim has uh, a simmering rage, feeling bitter about somebody nearby. <gasps> oh no! Maybe that's why it didn't go so well with Trevor in the cuddle carts. Prim was expecting an invitation to prom from Trevor. She's resentful about no invite. And he was expecting her to ask? Oh dear. Okay, so the both of them are feeling a bit indifferent towards each other since neither one of them asked the other to prom. But they did become like, you know, prom royalty and prom jester. So like, that's a good sign. But maybe she's just feeling a little bit sad because she thought that, you know, he would ask her as, as her date. Oh dear. But the girls have arrived home and they're going to take themselves off to bed as it is the early hours of Sunday now. And I hope that you all enjoyed today's Sims and Bloom episode. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Let me know if you like Emily and what you think of Prim becoming the prom queen. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button as well and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. Take care, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time. Taz out.